wind changes, you'll stay like that. Oh, I'm sorry, Jack. Well, I was the one with all the worries. Are you having a party? Oh, no, Sarah's back today, so I'm going to restock the shelves. Oh, make it look as though you've been managing OK without her. Yeah. Something like that, yeah. Nice time. Brilliant. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Run along inside, Victoria. Go on then. Mom. Go on, toilet. Hi, Jack. It's great to have you back. I really missed you. Yeah, I'm sure. Look, I'll just finish up here and I'll make a brew. There's some stuff I need to say. Yeah, uh, there's something I want to say first. I've been feeling really bad about the boys missing their school trip. Yeah, me too. So I rang Annie in Spain and she said she'd be glad to have them for a few weeks. Great. When? Uh, tonight, I'm afraid. I couldn't get any other flights. No, it's all right by me. Well, I'll just pop in, ring the school, tell them they'll be missing the last couple of days of term. Oh, wait, Sarah. Um, Robert and Andy, they're not at school today. And I've already wrong to say they're sick. Well, what's wrong? Oh, nothing. They're fine. Where are they? In the top field. Working? Yeah. Jack! We have to go. Your flight's at five. What more? I've only just got back. I thought you'd be pleased. I thought you wanted a holiday. I do, but what about you? Well, I've just had one. I miss you. Oh, Robert. I'll miss you, too. You and Dad are splitting up, are you? No, no. You know things haven't been easy recently, and, well, this is the only chance you're going to get of a proper summer break, and it'll give your Dad and I a chance to sort things out. What about the farm? Shouldn't we stay here and help Jack? That's enough, Andy. Now, go up to your room, see if you can find the other one of these. Boys, get off, OK? Yeah, fine. Well, there's some stew in the oven and some potatoes to bake. Won't be long. Cooking a meal is not going to stop me being angry about what you've done. Well, what else was I supposed to do? I thought we agreed the farm wouldn't interfere with the boys' education. Well, that's all very well for you to say. But who was it who went off and left me to run the place single-handed, eh? Well, you should have got a labourer in! And pay him with what? Oh, get real, Sarah, but this is far from going under. I'm just trying to keep us afloat. And sometimes that means making hard choices. Well, next time you've got hard choices to make, try consulting me first. Hiya. Hello. Uh, this is uh, Pete Collins. He's one of the drivers up at Tate Haulage. Uh-huh. And uh, he's our new lodger. I see. Well, it's nice to meet you, Pete. Actually, I'm going to go and have a drink. If you want to talk to me, you know where I'll be. I'll see you later. Maybe. I thought you'd be pleased. It's not like we don't need the money. But getting a lodger without consulting me first. Well, you weren't there. I spoke to you every day on the phone. You didn't say anything. Give me a break, Sarah. Anyway. You're right, we do need the money. Oh, thank you. Now can we just draw a line under it? I don't like arguing with you like this. Me neither. I mean, we've got to try and deal with these things together. <laughs> 